either or hate him on sight. He's cleverer than him, and he's black. She might change her mind. I've met the man I want to spend my life with. <laughs> Are you insane? White, British, and she's a salesman's daughter. My grandfather was a king. I am his heir. I have a responsibility to return home to my people. I will never achieve anything worthwhile if I leave my heart here. I am the government's representative in Southern Africa. The policy of apartheid. Black. You know this word. If you choose to marry the leader of an African nation, you will be responsible for the downfall of the British Empire in Africa. Have you no shame? Over two decades of preparing you to be our king, and this is how you face me. How long before the village dust gets in her eyes? I am told that you no longer wish for me to honor my duty as your king because of the color of the wife I have chosen. Who do you think will accept you? You belong to the whites, but they won't want you either. I am ready to serve you because I love my people. I love this land, but I love my wife. Now you will see how an empire defends itself, Mr. Karma. This, we? we have concluded that you should be exiled. I belong with my people. Prime Minister, the whole world is watching. No man is free who is not master of himself. She's stronger than either of us suspected. It is time for us to create a new nation. For us to be the masters of our own fate. It is time. Did I ever tell you I didn't just marry you for your good looks? Liar. <laughs>I thought that the dialogue was really good and really funny and um, I thought it was really unusual for Jane Austen. In fact, I didn't believe at first it was Jane Austen. I thought it was just we're pretending it was Jane Austen.